today's project, I'm going to show you how to replace a toilet. Tools and supplies needed will be an adjustable wrench, a level, a hacksaw, small bucket, putty knife, fluid master or wax free ring, new toilet supply line if needed, chemical resistant gloves, large garbage bag, store plastic bags. I'll have links in the description. First, you'll want to shut off the water supply. You'll want to flush the toilet and empty the tank out. And then plunge the remaining water at the bottom of the bowl out of the toilet. Some people use a sponge to get up all the water. Now you'll disconnect the water supply line from the toilet and allow, allow it to drain into the uh, spare bucket that you have. Now I went ahead and removed the flush valve to the tank so that way you can get all the water out of the tank. But you can also just use a sponge to soak up the remaining water. Now you'll take out the flange nuts that holds the toilet to the floor. There'll be one on each side. So you use a large garbage bag to put the toilet in. So first you'll kind of rock the toilet back and forth to loosen it up from the wax ring. And then I placed it inside a large garbage bag so that way it won't leak water when transporting the toilet out of the house. Now I use old grocery store bags to clean up the wax ring. It makes it easy to remove. And then just get all the wax off of the, the ring and you can use a putty knife to scrape it clean and then obviously wear the gloves and get all that wax off. Now you'll put on the new flange bolts. I'm using the Fluid Master waxless ring so there's no wax to mess with. It's a rubber gasket and it has a 10 year warranty. So put that in place and then put the toilet in place. Then you put on the nut and the washer on each side. Hand tighten them down on the flange bolts. And you'll tighten them down on each side with using the crescent wrench. So this is the Fluid Master uh, toilet seal. It's a waxless ring. Then they say it's more durable than a wax ring, and I think it works great. So now you'll check for level. You'll tighten the nuts and you'll use sh toilet shims if you need to use them, depending on your floor, if it's level or not. But don't over tighten the bolts uh, down uh, just enough to where the toilet won't rock back and forth and that it is nice and secure to the floor. So when installing the tank, don't forget to put on the tank gasket. So depending on the toilet you get, there might be two or three uh, bolts that go through the toilet base to tighten the tank down. This one has three. It has a special wrench that did come with the toilet. So after you have the tank installed, then you'll install the water supply line back to the toilet. And then turn on the water, let it fill up. and then give it a test for a few test flushes 
to make sure everything's running correctly. And then you'll want to check around the base as well as the base of the tank for any leaks as well as the connection to the water fill valve. Make sure there's no water leaking at all. This install was easy. Hopefully it helps save you a plumber's uh, bill. If you do it yourself, I know some plumbers, they charge 300 bucks to have a toilet, to do a, a toilet install for people. So just think of the savings you could have by doing it yourself. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more DIY projects, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching.